Hey everyone, Daryl here again. So can you believe it? We're at the end of week 11. We just have one more week to go. So I'm giving my weekly update and I'm really proud of myself for continuing to create these videos and continuing with my journey, even though I've had very little views. Really, creating these videos is giving me motivation just to continue on. It gives me a reason to really work out and everybody needs a little bit of a motivation and so find your motivation what really makes you tick and makes you want to succeed and i think that's one of the secrets um, of achieving your goals anyway i had another really great week so we started on monday like we always do with squats and i increased the number of squats that i did um, i increased the weight a while ago so i'm doing 30 pound dumbbells on each arm and I got to 35 squats, which was five more squats than the previous week. And so I feel really good about that. I was really sore again um, the rest of the week. And the other thing that I've done is I'm continuing my training for the Bright Angel Trail Hike in the Grand Canyon. And so each week I've continued upping my mileage that I'm doing. So my Monday and Wednesday fright, my Monday and Wednesday hikes, I'm increasing by a mile. And then my Friday hikes, I'm increasing by two miles. And so this last week, I did eight miles on my Friday hike. And so, yeah, my legs are really sore and they're really feeling it. But I feel really good about all the work that I'm putting in on my legs. So Wednesday, as usual, was push-up day. My goal for Wednesday on my push-ups was 70 push-ups. And that's more than I've ever done. Um, at one time. I think I've done like 55 push-ups, maybe 60, I'm not positive. But I really knew that I needed to knock 60 out right away, really fast, um, without stopping, and then I'll try to get that extra 10 in, and I was able to do that. So I felt really good about my push-up workout on Wednesday. So my goal for next week is to do 80. And so once again, I'm gonna try to do 70 really fast, and try to get 80 in. That would be amazing. I don't know if I can do it. Um, you know, a couple weeks ago, I think three or four weeks ago, I was doing a push-up and I just totally failed and I fell on my face. <laughs> so hopefully that doesn't happen on my last push-up workout, but we'll see. Um, but I was really happy with Wednesday's workout. So Friday was again, was pull-up day. And as usual, I struggled. Um, yeah, it sucks. You know, I did the, I think three weeks ago, I did the kipping kind of fast pull-ups that I didn't do full pull-ups all the way and I did 25 and I felt so good about myself. And so now I'm back to reality and doing a full pull-up, um, extending myself all the way without kipping. And I was only able to do 13, but still, I mean, it would, it's, I think I started off by doing seven, I think, or five, I can't, I think the first week maybe I did five. So, I mean, I, I've gotten a lot better. It just hasn't increased quite the way I would have liked to have seen it, but I feel pretty good about it. What I feel really good about, and I've mentioned this a couple of times, is that assist band that I got. Um, you know, I was really struggling with the push-ups because I was having so much shoulder pain and, you know, I was having the wrist pain with the, with the push-ups. And yeah, I didn't know if I was gonna be able to complete this workout, but with that, assist pull with that pull-up assist band it's really helped me to continue to do the pull-ups and to do it in the right form to do it nice and slow to do the you know the full pull-ups without really hurting my body and so that's been a real success so i can really focus on my lats i can really focus on uh the upper back and, and that's been really great so i'm really happy i made that per so i've continued to do my cardio um so i'm continuing to do my peloton bike um, it's kind of a high intensity interval training, but really it's more cardio. But I'm continuing to do that even though I'm doing my walking. So it's really tough on my legs. Did I mention my legs are really sore? So I'm not giving my legs much of a break. I mean, I do my leg workout on Monday and then I, I do my uh, bike Monday through Friday. And then I do my walks on Monday, Wednesday and Friday. And I do a smaller walk on Tuesday and Thursday. And then I'm still doing walks on Saturday and Sunday with my wife, so <laughs> my legs are really feeling it. But anyway, um, yeah, I'm feeling good about it. 
So the, one of the things that happened though is the yoga has kind of suffered. I mean, I'm just feeling so sore with the legs and my time is a little bit short. I'm just continuing to stretch a bit, but I'm not doing the 30 minute yoga session really like I wanted to do. Um, and that's, you know, that's just reality of life. Sometimes life gets in the way and you know, your, your best made plans sometimes don't come to fruition. So yeah, the last week, you know, I didn't do so good on yoga. I'm probably not gonna do yoga uh, all that well on the next week as well. I'm just trying to do a little bit too much. So I've continued to lose a little bit of weight ever since I've started training for that Bright Angel Trail hike in the Grand Canyon and I've upped my um, walking distance. So now I'm down to 157 and my body fat was actually down to 15%. So yeah, um, I, I really won't know for sure until I do my final measurements at the end of next week. I'm hoping, you know, that I've somehow, some way. Um, you know, my arms are a little bigger, my chest continues to get bigger, and um, my legs maybe are a little bit bigger and the glutes are a little bigger, and maybe the waist is smaller, that would be cool. <laughs> we'll see what happens, but um, yeah, I'm, I'm happy, I feel like I'm thinner now, I feel like I'm a little bit leaner, and I feel stronger, so can't beat it. So all I've got is one more week to go. Um, yeah, I'm excited to see what happens next week. Hopefully I can reach my max for every one of my exercises. That would be a kind of a good way to finish out the week. You know, then I'll do my final weigh-in as well as my final measurements and kind of see where everything comes together. <laughs> it's like I'm always kind of excited about the next thing is, is what I'm excited about. So I'm kind of tired and done with this old thing, even though it's been pretty successful and I'm ready to try something new. So I'm really excited about my next workout. Um, so I've kind of finalized things, I think a little bit. Um, I'm going to continue with my Wednesday, Monday, Wednesday, Friday strength workouts. I'm still going to focus on legs one day. Um, on one of the days, it's probably going to be Wednesday. I'm going to focus on uh, biceps uh, and back. And then on Friday or Wednesday, I'm not exactly sure what the days are yet. Um, but then one of the days I'm going to focus on uh, chest and um, triceps and shoulders. And so that's kind of what I was doing anyway, you know, when I was doing so many push-ups and so many um, bench presses, you know, I guess I was sort of sticking with one kind of exercise, but that one exercise was, was really working on all of those muscle groups. So I'm going to be continue to do that. But now instead of a 10 minute workout, which is what I was doing, um, it's going to be a, anywhere between a 30 and 50 minute workout. So it's going to be a lot more, uh, a longer workout. Um, maybe not quite as intense, but it's still gonna be pretty intense. Um, we're gonna do all um, free weights, uh, dumbbells. We're still gonna do pull-ups. We're still gonna do push-ups. So those aren't gonna go away. I'm just not gonna do 10 minutes of them. <laughs> so, so I'm looking forward to not having to do 10 minutes of pull-ups. That'll be cool. But a 45 minute you know, chest slash tricep slash older workout's not gonna be no no walk in the park either. So yeah, that's going to be good. So I'm looking forward to that. Um, once again, I'll only be working one body part basically um, one day a week and giving it seven days to rest. And so even though I'll be working on chest, shoulders, and triceps all on one day, they're still going to have seven days to recover. So that's going to be plenty of time to recover. Um, I'm not really going to be doing cardio. So uh, I'm gonna switch from the Peloton bike workout and I'm gonna switch to the Concept2 ERG rowing machine. And I'm gonna be doing that two days a week on Tuesday and Thursday. This is gonna be a very high intensity interval training workout. It's really gonna only be 10 minutes. Um, gonna try to rest on Tuesdays and Thursdays, although this workout's gonna be really rough. So I used to do this when I was doing CrossFit where I'll basically be doing one minute of rowing as hard as I can do it for 60 seconds, then take the next minute off. Then the next minute you go again really hard. I'll let my heart rate beat go down a little bit and then do the next minute really hard again. I haven't, um, but yeah, it's only gonna be five minutes of really hard working out, but it's gonna be really hard working out. So looking forward to that. And yeah, so I'm not gonna be, I'll do still lose some stretch and I'm not gonna be doing yoga. So basically it'll, it'll just be weights. Um, it'll be rowing and then I'll continue my walking. So I'm gonna continue training for um, my Bright Angel Trail hike at the Grand Canyon towards the end of October. 
my diet's gonna change a lot too. So my diet's gonna change significantly. The number of calories is gonna be about the same. What I eat is actually gonna be about the same. But instead of doing my intermittent fasting diet where I eat twice a day, I'm gonna go to the five, I'm gonna to totally switch it up and I'm gonna to go to the five, five uh, meals a day plan. And so I'll be having breakfast and then a snack and then a lunch and then another snack and then a dinner. And so we'll switch that up a little bit. Um, focusing a little bit more on protein. So I'll be taking in a little bit more protein, a little bit more veggies, um, some carbs in there. So changing things up a little bit, um, having a protein shake um, kind of after my workout um, in the afternoons. Um, so yeah, it'll, it'll be really cool. So I think, I think that just about does it. Oh, um, let's see, the other thing uh, that I'm gonna be doing is instead of taping them and um, putting them on YouTube, well, I'm, I'm still gonna put them on YouTube, but I'm gonna be doing a live workout. So basically Monday through Friday, Pacific Standard Time, I think it's gonna be one o'clock, I'll be doing my workout. So Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, I'll be doing my strength workout. Tuesday and Thursday, I'll be doing my 10 minute intermittent rowing workout and then those things will automatically be put on YouTube as well. So it'll be streamed through YouTube Live and then basically it'll just be uncut videos. So I don't, I won't be editing those at all. Um, they'll just go live and then they'll go up to YouTube and I'm not gonna edit them. Um, so it'll make that process a little easier for me even though it really isn't that much work, but every, every little bit helps. Um, I am gonna have to learn some new skills so I'm gonna have to figure out the streaming platform and how that all, all work. Um, so I'm getting some gear together uh, to do that. So that'll be a kind of a fun learning endeavor. And um, yeah, hopefully I'll get a couple people checking that out. And if not, that's okay. <laughs> so I've done most of these workouts without anybody watching them. And if nobody watches them again, that's fine. But you know, I'm just learning and, and trying to grow and keep myself motivated. And um, that's what you need to do as well um, when you're figuring out how to um, uh, do your workout journey. Uh, so anyway, I hope to see you guys again on Monday for squats and um, I'll see you soon.